The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. One of the things I'm going to focus on is the fact that Mike Zulo was on the show last week, of course, the cold case posse, Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, and the birth certificate investigation. And uh, he had several uh, announcements to make, uh, some breaking news, that is, news that uh, you have not heard before and information that was new uh, concerning the conferences coming up, uh, concerning some things that Sheriff Joe Arpaio has announced, and uh, several other tidbits of information uh, that uh, were just released last week on this show. So if you have questions about that, comments about that, if you agree, disagree, if you uh, ha have, have things that you want to ask questions about, uh, please call 850-623-1330. I'll open up the phone lines in this next 30 minutes. Now, usually Mike Shoesmith is with us during this segment, and uh, Mike is a huge part of the show. He is one of our correspondents and uh, was with me from the beginning when the show started years ago. Uh, Mike Shoesmith, of course, is the executive director of and the executive editor of P.P. Simmons News and Ministry Network and he manages all of those properties and uh, manages the folks that work for him and for that network. And we have quite a few people, and we're so proud of all of them. It's, it's an amazing, amazing outreach to the world. And Mike Shoesmith is that correspondent. He cannot be with us today. And so, Mike, if you're able to listen today, God bless you, my friend, my brother. We miss you, but uh, we'll see you next Friday. But today we're going to open up the phone lines at 850-623-1330, and Mallory will put you on the air. And you can ask and or say anything you want, uh, particularly about the entire uh, Obama scandal, the Obama uh, uh, debacle concerning his identity and the documents and the birth certificate and the criminal investigation that Arpaio was doing and the conferences that are coming up and the announcements that were made last week on the show uh, by Mike Zulo. So you can do all of that. All right. Well, as I said, if you'll remember last week, I had Mike Zulo on for some time, and uh, he, he revealed two or three very interesting pieces of information. First of all, you'll remember, of course, that he had announced back at the end of last year that he and Arpaio had hoped or were planning, uh, their target date was the end of March, to do a couple of news conferences on what they have discovered. Uh, first of all, the birth certificate investigation has gone so deep now. There's so much more to this than you've ever known or have ever dreamed. Mike Zulo has all of that information, and he has it in legal courtroom ready, investigation ready, Congress investigation ready, whoever's going to pick it up. He's got it ready, and he's going to give it. He's going to announce it to the world very, very soon. But prior to that, there will be a news conference by Sheriff Arpaio, uh, Sheriff Arpaio, because of the birth certificate investigation, uh, Mike Zulo uh, um, was made privy to some information that was absolutely astounding, criminal activity uh, that fell under the jurisdiction of uh, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office and Sheriff Joe Arpaio. It goes all the way to the White House and, and, and places in between. And Sheriff Joe Arpaio jumped all of that on top of all of that with investigators, investigative team, and they've been on top of that now for many, many months, putting that all together. And so that conference is going to come, and then very shortly after that, Mike Zulo's conference will come. So this is important stuff, and it's going to happen. Now, they had been shooting for the end of March as the target date, but as you heard Zulo say last week, and this was one of the things that I knew about but couldn't say, until Mike Zulo said it, and as a matter of fact, Sheriff Arpaio said it first. He said it on Fox News just a few days ago, and then Mike Zulo confirmed it, uh, that, that one of the reasons this conference didn't happen when they had originally targeted it, because between the time they said the March date and then when March rolled around, they now are honing in on who did it. They know the people responsible for putting that forged fake birth certificate together. I mean, so that that takes... <laughs> I, I mean, folks, we already know a thousand percent the thing is a, fa a, for a forgery, a fake, it's fraud. We know all of that. But now to know who did it and to be able to prove it, I mean, that's huge. That is, that is huge. It's a huge piece. And you remember Zulo said they had universe-shattering information? Well, let me just tell you, that's not even part of the universe-shattering information, as big as that is. The other thing that he revealed was that they're in possession of NSA documents describing how to use certain Xerox machines in certain ways to wipe out metadata in, in documents and how to produce anomalies on documents. The very thing that some of the OBOTs were claiming that they had in 
they had a Xerox machine that could produce the document that's on the White House website uh, exactly the way it was, therefore rendering uh, Zulo and Arpaio's investigation moot. Uh, the problem was is that after they, uh, Zulo and Arpaio, or Zulo, uh, immersed himself in the investigation of that document, they discovered that there was no Xerox machine that could do that. But in the meantime, they got a hold of NSA documents explaining how to use that misdirection and uh, and, and information technique and how to use Xerox machines to mess with documents. The very thing the OBOTs were saying. And by the way, it was the OBOTs information about that Xerox machine that opened up tons of more leads and evidence. I have to be careful how I say this. And initiated the beginnings of the criminal investigation that Arpaio is now doing. So hats off to the OBOTs. Bless you for that. So anyway, let, let me go to the phone lines because people are waiting. Jim, thank you so much for listening today to Freedom Friday. And uh, you've got a question about this investigation. Go ahead. Yeah, this is Jim, and I had a question. Yeah. I wanted to know, can you tell us if the uh, Virginia Sunahara case is involved in this, the criminal part? Yep. Involved in what? In the criminal investigation. Yeah. You know, Jim... Let me just, I, I cannot say what is or what is not involved in the criminal investigation. I, I, I'm so sorry. I'm just not allowed to do that. Um, I can speak more generally, uh, and you know, I can only kind of repeat what Zulu has already said here over the air, I, I, but I, I'm not at liberty to say exactly what's involved in that criminal investigation. It is under the... Uh, the jurisdiction of Sheriff Arpaio. He has full constitutional authority to do this investigation. I know that it, I can tell you that it has been a very deep investigation. Uh, it's been going on for months. It has involved a lot of travel, a lot of, um, a, a, a lot of, uh, well, it's being redundant, a lot of investigation, <laughs> a lot of uncovering of things. Some um, amazing information has brought forth. It has now been documented, checked, and rechecked. And Mike Zulo's assessment of what Sheriff Arpaio is going to bring is universe-shattering, history-making information. And the little bit that I know, I can say that he's dead on. But I know that didn't answer your question, Jim, but again, I, 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 I'm just not allowed to get on the radio and say what is or is not going to be a part of the criminal investigation. Did you have other questions or comments about it? Yeah. Is, um, is there a release date coming in the next week or two? Or is yeah. It, well, is it no, go ahead. I'm sorry. I thought you were finished. Or could it be later in the summer? I mean, yeah. Well, here's what Mike Zulo said last week, and, and I'll put my spin on it, not being the official spokesperson for Zulo or Arpaio. Uh, what Mike Zulo said last week was that from this point forward, he's not going to be setting any dates. And he kind of laughed. He said, because, you know, he said, I kind of, you know, got burnt on that last one because it was last year when they set the date for, for March. And I'm telling you, Jim, right up until the last of March, Mike Zulo was calling me almost every day saying, Carl, I think we're still going to be able to make this happen. I think we're still going to be able to make this happen. But as March came along, he called me right at the last of March and said, Carl, it's not going to happen. It's going to be a while because the information we have is so astounding, so uh, massing up, and we've got more to do. But when this comes out, it's going to be worth the wait. But what Mike said last week, Jim, was that he's not setting a date. But I asked him, I said, it's going to be sooner than later, right? I mean, it's going to be weeks or months and not years, right? And, and he confirmed and said that was right. And then he laughed and talked about how old he was and how it couldn't be years. So, yeah, I, I, my spin on that, Jim, would be you're pretty safe to say months and, and maybe sooner than that, but, but not, not a year or more. That's my understanding. Does that help you? Yeah, I just have one more question. Right. Will there, do, you, do you think there will be uh, legal ramifications like legs from the release, like uh, lawsuits opening, things like that? Yeah. Well, you know, that's a good question, and a lot of people ask that. My, uh, my opinion is that, yes, not only should there be, but there will be. I mean, because of the little bit that I know, it's so astounding, it's so earth-shattering that somebody – you know, Congress, courts, uh, law enforcement agencies, somebody's going to have to do something. And, and that's about as far as I can go in telling you, you know, how deep this is. But, yes, Jim, I would certainly imagine that that's going to be the case. I don't know how it could not be. And thank you so much for listening, Jim, and thank you for your wonderful questions. Let me go back to the phone lines. John, you have a question as well about this investigation. Go ahead. Yeah, two, two quick questions. Uh, one, Carl, I guess listening to Mike Zulu, he does not sound – 
as convicted and sure that this is going to happen as you are. You, you sound m- much more on board than he does. My question, I guess, would be, what's going to be the determining factor of whether or not this information comes to light or not? That's okay. my first question. Well, well, let me answer that one, John, okay. because if you'll remember, did you hear the show last week? I listened. Okay, I listened. okay. Well, let me let me just remind you, and you can go back and hear the podcast. Because, uh-huh. because I said something about, now, it is going to happen, right? And he said, absolutely, it is going. He said that with passion. He said, absolutely, he said, this is going to happen. I'm the only right. one that put the caveat. I said, I guess unless some major calamity, catastrophe, that, you know, that the whole world uh, just can't deal with it. And, and then he said, you know, no, Carl, it is going to happen. I can assure you of that. So, no, he's very confident that this okay. is going to happen. Now, you know, you've okay. always got to leave room. For you know, for for something to happen that we don't know of, but barring something happening that would prohibit it, he says it is going to happen, and he says it with confidence. Okay. Other quick, uh, another question I had is, uh, you know, I'm sure you know who Nikki Booth is or Mickey Booth is. Yes, I know, I know her okay. well and her husband. Yes. Okay, I listened to. She was on a radio show. I can't think of who it was off the top of my head, but she said she talked to Carl, and she said Carl had. She chose her words very carefully. She said Carl had intimated to her that after this information comes out, she would, he, he would be very surprised if anyone voted Democrat for just a few generations. Now, I, obviously, you can't, you know, attest for whether or not he actually said that or not. But based on what you know, uh, would you agree with that? Okay. Now, you said she talked to Carl. Did you mean she talked she, to Mike? No, I meant Mike. I'm sorry. She okay. said that yeah. she talked to Mike. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Well, so, I do. Yeah. I no. I John. I can't speak to that because I'm not privy to that conversation, um, and I don't know that I would make that characterization. Although, okay. uh, but 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 it's it, it's it's going to be big. It's going to be big. So we'll see what happens along those lines. But uh, but John, I I did. I'm not aware of that conversation, so I can't really speak to it. I do know Mickey very well and her husband, and and think the world of her. Thank I you. Wasn't, I was, yep. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, John. Listen, we, we've got to take a time out. We do have to take a time out, folks. John, thank you. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for w- your wonderful calls and comments. We do have more callers on the line, plus we've got some lines open. We're going to take a time out. When we come back, more of your calls. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, America. Let's go right back to the phone lines. Uh, Chris, thank you so much for hanging on. Uh, listen, go ahead and make your question or comment uh, as brief as possible. We've got other callers on the line, and we're quickly running out of time. What's on your mind, Chris? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh it was about a year ago I called and talked to Mike. I asked him very pointedly if if there were any uh, preparations made for for uh, arrest or convictions, you know, dealing with the aftermath of, of accusations. And uh, he said there hadn't been anything at that point in time, but uh, it kind of had me wondering, you know, what what's an update on that? Yeah, well, listen, it, that, that's, an, that's a great question, Chris, and let me just say, I cannot speak to Arpaio's criminal investigation and what may or may not come from that from his department as far as arrest and, 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 and those kinds of things, okay, because that would then perhaps get into giving away exactly what he's investigating and where he's going with it. Um, I do know that the birth certificate investigation, Mike Zulo has said several times that, that he, neither he nor Arpaio, are, are out to arrest the president or anybody in the White House. They, they really don't have the jur- jurisdiction for any of that. But they do have jurisdiction to do what they're doing with the birth certificate and with these criminal investigations that are under the jurisdiction of Sheriff Arpaio. So, so you know, uh, investigations that happen at a federal level, you know, impeachments or arrests of, of various people that might be involved, that would have to come, I, I'm assuming, uh, through federal law enforcement and federal agencies, perhaps uh, Maricopa County and some of the criminal stuff, but that's for Arpaio and his department to um, to deal with and not for me to speculate on because I, I don't know all of the details there. But that is a good question, and, and a lot of people have asked it, so thank you for weighing in on that again today, Chris. Let's go back to the phone lines. We have another Chris. This Chris is calling from New Orleans, Louisiana. Chris, thanks for listening today, and what's your question? Hi, Pastor Gallup. Hey. Donald Trump sent Sheriff Joe a fax with words to the effect of, like, good luck with the investigation. And then the Trump took the point in the media, questioning Obama's various birth narratives on talk shows and what have you, but then strangely disappeared from the public eye on the matter when all he needed to do was be present and attend 
the preliminary release of the findings of Sheriff Joe's cold case posse, and he would have virtually guaranteed major news media coverage of those amazing facts that were presented at that preliminary release of the findings of the cold case posse, uh, where they presented the absolute evidence that there doesn't even exist a document. It's nothing but a fabricated electronic file. So my question to you is this. What if uh, Joe, Sheriff Joe's cold case posse, Mike Zulo, present even more uh, solid factual revelations and the ongoing uh, avoidance by the major news media uh, keeps this information from, you know, most of yeah. the American people. Okay. Well, Chris, that's an amazingly uh, astute question. It's been asked a lot. Let me speculate on the answer, and I can only speculate because even you said, what if? Well, it, it, it is my understanding it is uh, my understanding. Hold on just a moment. I've got to make an adjustment. I'm having to run YouTube and everything today here. I mean, you stream and everything. Okay. Thanks, Mallory. Okay. Uh, Chris, it's my understanding that the, the, the mainstream media is not going to be able to ignore this. And it's my understanding that they're not going to. And, and that's all I know to say about that. Uh, it, and, and when this comes out, as Mike Zulu has said, it is so universe shattering that, that <laughs> listen, when it comes out, it will be apparent and obvious to anyone who has a brain that it's going to have to be dealt with, okay? It's that criminal in nature. It's that astounding in nature. So at that point then, if, let's say, the rest of the media tries to ignore it, uh, then they're, they're going to... They're going to look absolutely ridiculous. If Congress ignores it, if the courts ignore it, I think there will be, you know, an uprising. I, I really do. And I don't mean armed uprising. I just mean an absolute uprising of the American citizenry. So I, we're just, I'm just speculating. We're going to have to wait till this comes out. But this is going to be huge, is what I have been assured. And the little bit that I know is huge. So we will see. But thank you for your question, Chris. Thank you for listening. God bless you. And uh, hang in there, man. Be patient. It is going to happen, according to Zulo and Arpaio. It is going to happen sooner rather than later. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.